roll. Big inhale here as you roll the shoulders up. Big exhale as you find that nice retraction through the back. One more time, breathe in. Big shoulder roll and exhale it back. Dip those legs a little wider and start with a nice deep squat, getting those arms moving to create some heart rate. So obviously, if you want to take your hands maybe to your thighs to start, I'm cool with that. That goes for any of the sequences, exercises, or stretches throughout the class. You can always take it into a modified position. Here we go. Let's get that body moving. Let's get that heart rate up. We're going for eight more, seven, six, breathing in and out, five, chest open, four, weight is in the heels, three, abs in, two, go for one more, and we're going to do a little walk, walk, and a knee. So I'm starting with a little agility on that side body. So we just remember that the knee, little freeze on that knee. Opportunity to crunch in a little bit deeper when you lift the knee. So think about maybe opposite arm crossing towards that knee. Breathing in and out. Be careful of your space. Make sure that none of your equipment is an obstacle for your workout. Four more, right there. Three, two, go for one more, please. Alternate your side tap right here. Unless I really think that you need to know about left and right sequences, I won't be cueing them out. So don't worry about it, just get into the exercise and follow along to the best of your ability. Picking it up here on an interval for 10 counts. Are you ready? Let's go here. It's one. Go for depth, two, go for a little pace, three, four, modification there for you, five, breathe out, six, nice, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Arms up, squat down, knee to elbow. So my hands are slightly behind my head, but I'm not pulling on my neck. I'm just using this position with my arms to create a deeper abdominal crunch. My goal is to get that knee up nice and high. Get into that squat combination, creating heart rate. Four more. Four. Three prisoner squats. Two, go for one more. Get some space behind you. And let's get into those alternating reverse lunges. On my cue, you will do one leg only. Again, it doesn't matter, left or right. And you'll repeat the same exercise. Are you ready? One leg only. Take it into that reverse lunge and tap it up. Woo! Extra control with that torso when you bring that leg back up. Add a knee lift if you're looking for more intensity. Whew. Breathe in and out. Let's add a kick, more intensity. Here we go, five, four, three, listen carefully. Two, do one more, get back into your lunge, lower it, hold it, now pulse it. Heel up, knee in line, torso stepped, abdominal wall in, small up and down, small. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, breathing, four, three, intensify, two, and one, step, touch. Woo, excellent job. Wow, heart rate skyrocketed. Stay here for recovery or join me for a little side step hop with the knee. So it's a little different from the agility of a run run knee. I'm asking you to step out onto that outside leg. So you have to have strong stabilizers here to make sure you're in line. Crossover, elbow to knee, creating more abdominal work. It's all up to you. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Get back into that position so you can safely alternate your reverse lunges again. So be aware that you're doing both legs right now. Single alternating reverse lunges. On my cue, you will hold the other leg going back into lunge and up. Remember, you're in charge of knowing your
your unilateral exercising. You gotta be aware and focus. Are you ready? Single leg work, let's go. Same leg, into that reverse lunge, and tap. Extra reminder, torso is the powerhouse of this exercise. Your glutes are pushing you up, but it really is that abdominal wall that is doing the control. Let's add a knee lift. Let's see what it feels like. Extra crunch, extra heart rate. On my cue, we're going into that kick. Let's intensify right there, nice. Here we go, five, woo, four. Breathing in, three, breathing out, two. One more kick, hold your lunge back. Stationary hold, don't move. Set yourself up properly, knee in line, heel up, shoulders in line, now pulse it. Down and up, small move. So don't change any other part of your body. Strong arms, maybe on your hips. Maybe in front, make them athletic. Make your moves strong, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, lift and three, transfer two, wide legs, side to side. So I'm in my fan lunge and I feel very ready to go for a reach. If you're not ready for the reach, keep it more upright. Your variation, let's go. Some of us, Time to pick it up. On my cue, I'm gonna double it up for a bit. This is a exercise that's gonna get us ready for the next round of combos, which will not be easy, so I need you ready. Here we go, double, two, and two. So a little double push there. Getting those legs ready for the next set of work. So on my cue, you're gonna keep those legs wide, you're gonna go into a wide-legged center squat and it will be a pulse. Do four more here, four, double bend, three, two, do one more double bend, get into that center position, hold it low. So have we done a lunge? The answer is yes. Have we done a squat? The answer is yes. Combination time. These are pulses. Make sure you're pivoting properly. Do your best, it's a double, Begin, so two in center, turn, two lunges. Now turn again to center, excellent. Now turn to the other side, you got it. How do I keep my knees safe? I do a little pick up with my foot. So when I rotate, there's a pick up of space so that I'm using my torso to turn the body, not my knee joint. You're the one that has to control your anatomy. Let's go, stay low. Use the power of the body. Breathe in and out, you've got this. Here we go, I'm gonna count you for four more sequences. Four, woo, three, yeah, two, oh mama, uno mas. Right there, down and up center, down and up center. Add the arms, let's go. Very first exercise that we did, da da, right here. How does it feel? A little better? It's up to you. Here we go, eight more. Seven, breathe out. Six, big reach. Five, four, three. Get ready for a change. Two, bring those arms and legs in a little narrower. Single knee and elbow crunch. So, trot, knee to elbow. Both of them working. Where are we? Into that side body, you know this. Side body crunch. A little balance, of course. You always have a wall, maybe the back of your sofa or a table to perhaps hang on to. On my cue, same leg and same arm, but out to the side with the leg. In three, two, same side, more of a side leg lift. Try to really focus on turning your alignment to that side leg lift. We started with the knee, and now we're on that side leg. My knee is still bent though. 10. Nine, are moving. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, same side squat, down, knee, lift. Option, tap. Same side. So let's go over it. We didn't need an elbow. Side leg arm movement. And then same side, lateral squat with a knee lift. I'm taking my opposite hand to give myself more rotation right there. Five left. Four, time to work. Three, two, go one more, please. Bring those feet together. Bring
Bring the arm up. Let's go other side. So I'm on a more parallel line here. I'm trying to move my arm and my leg in a sequence of fluidity. Try not to be so fragmented in your movements. Really focus on that core here right now. Breathe in and out. It's all there for you to work on. Honestly, we're ticking off all the boxes of our fitness throughout this class. For sure, we can guarantee that. Are you ready to change to the side leg? Here we go. There's the change. More medius and oblique work. My leg is still slightly bent. I've just changed the angle of my lift. Extra squeeze. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and we're into that side squat. Knee lift. Remember, full three segues of exercises on one side. Woo! I'm doing that opposite arm to opposite knee because I'm looking for more ab crunch. Up to you. 10, 9, make sure you're breathing. 8, lifting. 7, 6, we're almost there. 5, 4, we're changing the angles again. And 3, in 2, go one more. Bring yourself into a standing position. Alternate. Curtsy lunge. Woo! So I'm quite comfortable coming down nice and deep in my curtsy. You might not, depending on your anatomy. Please do what's right for you. Athletic arms, whatever you're doing. They can be together, hips, or cycling through, but they must be athletic. Back heel off the ground. Woo! Little add on for you today. We will be doing three pulses in our curtsy and then transferring. Let's try it. Three pulses. Go one, two, three, and lift. Other side. Go low. Two, three, and then lift. Other side. One, two, three. Squeeze up. One, two, three. Squeeze not only your core, but your booty. Let's go. One, two, three, and lift. Articulate. One, two, three, and go. Three more. One, two, Three, two more. One, two, three. Big lift. One more triple. One, two, three, and lift. Parallel squat. Side leg lift. Don't change your legs. Woo -hoo. Don't change your legs. Parallel squat. And then, and then, right there. Articulate those triceps. Let's go. Same side. You can see I've slowed it down a bit. If you're a speedy Gonzalez, go for it anytime. If you're looking for pace work, go for it. If you're looking for a little more control work, stay with me. Four more. Breathe out. Three. Big squeeze. Two. Go for one more. That's it. Switch to the other side. Right away. Keeping that sequence simple and just working through the zone. Parallel other leg legs. Oh. Yeah. Ten more. 10, it's a full 15 reps on each side. Two, bigger squeeze. Three, yeah. four, we're going back into cardio. Five, so be ready for anything. Six, mind on your workout. Seven, eight, yee. nine, go one more. Get ready for a fire leg position. Here we go, double it. So obviously I'm taking my hand to the ground. You don't have to. My feet are even leaving the mat. You don't have to. Yeah, I am gonna layer this today, so it's gonna be extra, extra work. Four more. Three, two, watch the change. Stay wide for a bit. Double wide, double narrow. Woo! Double wide, double narrow. Double wide, double narrow. Walk it out if you need to. Really hit those pulses. Wide pulse. Narrow pulse. Four more. Four. Yes. Three. Woo! Let's go. Two. Go one more. Now listen. Full range. Full range. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see. Ankles together. Shins together. Knees together. Thighs together. Squeeze it. Squeeze, tuck. Come up, squeeze, tuck. Narrow. Keep your back straight. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Five. Six. Breathe out. Five. Get ready to do around dumbbells if you have a four. Don't worry about it if you don't. Three. Five. Two. One more, please. Nicely done. Grab dumbbells if you have them. Please don't concern yourself.
yourself too much if you don't. If you are doing this class on a regular basis, time to order yourself a set of dumbbells if you haven't yet already, maybe a weighted bar. Let's go into some deadlifts, parallel the legs. If deadlifts are not for you, change the exercise. Back straight, eyes forward, squeeze core and glutes on the way up. My knees do not lock out. My eyes are staying forward. Four. You only go as deep as the hinge position available to your anatomy. Don't necessarily mimic my depth. Everyone is built different. You've got to really focus on your body. Breathe in and out. We're looking for eight more double leg deadlifts. Eight. Big squeeze up. Seven. We will be layering this. We're going to go for work, 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 and more work. Six. Yes. Five. Right there. Four. Slow down if you need to. Three, extra squeeze. It's all about the squeeze, promise. Two, go one more. Keep those legs parallel, squat down. Lift the arms up over the shoulders if you can. One, option, just curl the arms here. Two, looking for a little bit of an extra body work there. Three, parallel squat lift. Four, option, get rid of one of the components. Five, six, knees are in line. Seven, chest open, don't hinge too much. Eight, drop your booty back. Let's go. Nine. Shit. Woo! Five more. Yes. Five. Squeeze up. Four. Holy moly. This is going to be awesome. Three. Get ready. Two. Do one more. Glue those weights together. Baby, get rid of one of the weights to your chest. Now goblet. Oh. Try. Listen carefully. Even those with you with restricted mobility, through perfect practice, you can get deeper. Elbows touching those thighs without compromising hip alignment and back alignment. It's called practice. You can see my legs haven't changed one bit from those three exercises. 10 more, let's go. Nine, this is round one. Oh Eight, time to work now, okay? Seven, oh yeah. you got it. Six, like Carol and I have been. <laughs> Woo! Four, please. Three, listen very carefully. Two, I want you to do one more. You're either taking recovery or 10 bicep curls, your choice. 10, nine, eight, seven, you can recover. Six, are you ready for 10, 10, and 10? Five, yep. round two. Four, we did 15 reps in the first round. Three, just listen. Two, but one more. 10 deadlifts, let's go. So in the first round, we did 15, 15, and 15. Round two, 10, 10, and 10. Round three will be five, five, and five. Let's go. Six more. Five. Yeah, try to do the whole work. Four, extra squeeze of those inner thighs. I wanna see inner thighs squeezing. Two, better. Go one more. Are you ready? Squat down and lift. 10 reps. Two. Right there. Three. Today's the day. Four. Excellent work, everyone. I know it's tough. Five. Six. Breathe out. Seven. Eight. Wow. Nine. I'm looking for one more. Yeah, we got it. We got it. What? what do I do? I can't remember. <laughs> Just squat. Just squat it out. Just squat it out. What was the third exercise? Somebody. Oh, shit. We did deadlifts. Yeah. Then we did oh, squat. Oh, goblets. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Nice. It was a squat. She was right. Oh. Eight. <laughs> Seven. Oh my gosh. Six. That was a total dumb moment. Here we go, guys. Just do five more goblets. Okay, I got this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Worry. Don't be worried. I was in my Three. own room. <laughs> Two. Do one more. This is a recovery for 10 latlets. 10. Nine. You know how much I love goblets. Eight. Seven. Six, this can be your recovery. Okay, listen, five. I got this, four, three, 
two, round three, five, five, and five. I can do this. I can do this. Five, four, three, two, and one. Squat, lift with the arms. Five reps. One, two. Yeah, we did it. Three, four, five. Move those weights to your chest. Five goblets. Five. Oh, flawless. Four, three to finish the set, everyone. Two, Ooh. ten overhead press or recovery. Let's go. Open up those arms. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last weighted exercise with me. I'm going to bring my feet together side to side core. You can have your legs support if you feel better about it. Figure out your anatomy and your sensations of your body. Little side correction. I'm going to ditch the weight. We're going to go back into agility, strength, and cardio for a few more minutes with me. And then don't worry, I'll pass you off to Carol. 10, 9, 8. We're not done yet, though. Seven. We've got some work to do. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and uno. Ditch those weights safely. Make sure they're not an obstacle for you. Go to those single leg taps right away. So this is a great time to maybe grab some hydration on the fly or just stay with me depending on your day. Single leg tap coming up for Julie. Go, single leg. So you can see I'm picking up the pace. I'm getting athletic with the arms. I'm changing it to a knee. Let's go. So we've done our strength set just as planned. A little hiccup there at one point, but we just got extra squats in. Let's go, let's go. Knee in, run in, run in, run in. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, alternate tap right there. So we have to do the other side. It'll be a quick single leg tap with a knee. Fluctuation is a little agility. Four, three, two, single leg. Make sure you're on the other side. Make sure you're on the other side. That's your responsibility to make sure you're doing both legs. Here we go. I'm going to add that knee right there. Remember, Every time I lift that knee, there's an opportunity to do ab work. For those of you looking for abdominal work, and you're always asking, how can I work my abs? Work them now. It's up to you. Mind, body, focus, 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hustle, punch. Hustle, punch, right there. So it's a da 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 cross. So why I do this is to really articulate that torso rotation. Heel off the ground, arms up. The punch is really an extension of my abdominal wall strength. Right there. Breathing and noticing. Eight, seven, let's go everyone. Six, work it. Five, four, three, two. Let's get into those front kicks right here. I'm going to turn sideways. Alternating front kicks. You guys know this one. Front kick, back kick. Pendulum motion. Let's do it right now. Go. Front kick, back kick, pendulum, arms up. Torso in control. Here we go. Front kick, back kick. Now, I'm going to layer this one today. Same side. Don't change sides. It'll become a squat kick. Here we go. Back squat, front kick. I love it. Back squat, front kick. Woo! So we change that back kick into a squat right there. Hit it. Little pace pick up. One, two, try it. Three, arms up. Four, four five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's curl it right here. Center curl, center curl. Heels up, little down and up. I'll go back into alternating kicks. I'll turn my body to the other side. Front kick, back kick. Segue into back squat, front kick. Are you ready? Three, two, alternate your kicks. Let's go. I'm turning sideways. Remember what leg you're on. Let's go. On my cue, front kick, back kick. Let's go. Other side, go. Yeah. Remember this. Pendulum motion with that body. This will change to that back squat, front kick. But not yet, you got work to do, you got work to do. Here we go, count down, eight, seven, six, five, keep moving. Four, three, two, let's go. Woo! Yeah, back squat, front kick. I still gotta do a 10 count pick 
case, let's do the pickup now. Go one, two, drop it, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One squat rotation. Get those ribs in, moving them to your hips, knees in line, add those punches. We have a little bit more work to do. Two minutes left with me, everyone. Your job is to maintain your intensity good for you. 10, nine, eight, deeper, seven, faster, go, six, five, four, three, two, big knees, let's go. Wide, keep it wide. Arms moving, knee lifts. This is gonna change. Listen, I'll do a side kick, and then I'll do a quick little walk in center to transfer to the other side. These are alternating side kicks. Your pace, not mine. Three, two, one. Side kick, walk, walk. Side kick, one, two, three, kick, go. There's not only pendulum, but there's rotation. Notice, rotation. It doesn't have to be a high kick, to be effective. I'm trying to get you to rotate properly and use power from the abdominal wall. Kick is secondary. Eight, seven, arms up, six, five, Woo. four, three, two, front lunges alternate. Let's go. No, we haven't done them today. Nope. We haven't. Nope. Guys, those front lunges create a completely different load in the body. Again, it's all coming from the abdominal wall. Otherwise, I would be folding forward and all over the place. Let's control this, shall we? Eight more. Eight, wow. Seven, the end is coming. Six, five, I have one exercise left. Four, three, it's not for everybody. Two, are you ready? On the knee squat, here we go. So lower the knee, lower the knee, bring the foot up, bring the foot up, other side. Knee, knee, foot, foot. Knee, knee, foot, that's three, we're going for 10. If this exercise is not for you, change it, figure it out. Four, maybe I added one more, don't worry about it. Five, it's okay, it's okay to add on. Six, woo! Yeah, seven, practice, it'll get easier. Eight, I, nine, I wanna see one more from some of you, come on. Now get into a low squat, everybody, pulls it out. 10, nine, eight, seven, Hindi squat, six, five, Astagrass, four, three, two, recover. Bring it up, guys, walk it out. I'm gonna transfer you over to Carol for all that amazing work that she's gonna do for us. Woo! Aye, yay! Awesome we're gonna, job. We're gonna Woo! start with an upper body set, but I'm gonna do it on the mat. All right, Miss Carol, I'm coming to you. Okay, I'm waiting for you. There you are. All you. Let me just adjust a little bit. All right, perfect. Oh, God. Thanks for making me sweat. All right, I just had a look at everybody who's on today, and I do believe that everybody has weights. Woo! Yeah, so you know how much I love to do this. I'll turn sideways on because one of them needs to be sideways. I'm gonna tuck my toes just to support myself. I'm gonna draw my navel in. We're gonna pick up the weights. Full on three minutes Wait. of upper body set. Let's just start with bicep curls. Right. So, now I see Jess is on here, right? One of these upper bodies is for you, Jessica. Good. Nice. Lift it and lower. Perfect. Lift it and lower. Bring it all the way down to the hips, up to the shoulders, all the way down. Don't swing the weights. Don't swing the weights. Stop them at the hip bone. Lift up and down. Really focus on that bicep. Look at it. Mm. Perfect. Navel in, navel in. Back is flat, back is flat. You've got 10 more here. There's 10, good, and nine, oh, eight, perfect, nice and slow, seven, and six, 
It's five and four. Good, navel in. Three. It's two. And one. Hold the weights up. Rotate the arms out to the side and lift and lower. So a little bit of shoulder work here. We're going to focus on quite a bit of shoulders today. All right. So lift and lower. Yep. Lift and lower. Good. Elbows stay in line with shoulders. Try not to hinge back. Pull that navel in. Last 10. Here's 10. And nine. Perfect. Eight. Good. Seven. Six. Nice. Five. Your toes should be getting a stretch at the same time. Yep. There's three. Oh, two. Last one. Bring the weights up above the head. Turn the palms to face each other. And let's go into some tricep work. So down and lift. Nice. Down and lift. Perfect. Elbows are close to the ears. Down and lift. And down and lift. Now remember, if this is too much for you on your knees, maybe you just come up into a slightly more upright position. Down and lift. It is up to you. Down and lift. Yep. Down and lift. Good. Ten more here. Nine. Perfect. Eight. Seven. Yes. Six. There's five. Four. And three. Here's two. And one, I want you to bring the weights all the way down to the hips, to the thighs. Lean back a little bit. Focus on pulling the belly in. I want you to lift the arms, shoulder height. Too much with the weight? Get rid of the weight. All right, from here, let's take one arm. Bring it out to the side, a little rotation, and front. Ten on each side. There's three. Good. And four. You've got a band. By all means, use a band here. There's six. Little rotation, seven, eight, good, nine, last 10, other side, ready, 10, nine, little rotation, take it abdominals, take it obliques, take it shoulders, there's six, nice, good, five, mm -hmm. four, three, uh, two, and one, bring the weights down to the side, bring the arms at a 90-90, one arm only, bicep curls. So while you're working one bicep, your other static bicep is still activated because you're holding the weight, right? 90-90, 90-90, last 10, nine, good, eight, breathe, seven, six, don't drop that static arm down, five, four, three, two, one, hold the yeah. working arm static, lift and lower the static arm. Two, three, three, four, five, nice, good, six, there's seven, eight, nine, and ten. Turn the palms to face the back. Hinge yourself forward and row and lift. So working middle back, lift it. Squeeze shoulder blades together. So try not to do this upright. I want you to take a little hinge. Take a little hinge in the waist. Yep, 10 more. Nine, eight. Good, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pop the weights to the side of the mat. Come into a tabletop position. Oh, I need my towel, I'm sweating all over my mat. From your tabletop position, pick up one weight. One hand, one weight. Are you ready? Let's row it. And row, and row, row, perfect. Oh. Elbow close to the waist, elbow close to the waist. Row it, and row. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take weight into the other hand. I'm not gonna turn around here. Let's lift it, and row, and row, and row. So remember, elbow stays close to the waist, Row it, row, navel drawn in, perfect. Spine is long, mm. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, pop the weight down on the floor. Take shoulders in line with wrists, straighten one leg, lift it up, point the toe, middle lifts, lift it. Butt work, ab work, upper body work, Maybe a little plan because it's Thursday, right? Kind of end of the week for us. Maybe we'll just end the week nice and strong. Lift it, lift, lift it, nice and lift, 
lift. Perfect. Keep it lifted. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Keep that leg long. Bring that leg behind the supporting bent leg and across. So making a little semicircle. Good. And across. Body weight into the hand of the leg that is working. Bring it behind you and across. And behind and across. Nice. Good. Behind and across. And behind and across. Behind and across. You got this. You got this. You got this. Right? Breathe. Go. And across. Behind and across. Ten more. Ten more. Ten more. Ten. Four. And nine. Perfect. There's eight. Good. Seven. Here's six. Yep. And five. Perfect. There's four. Good. Three. Two. And one. Take the leg back through the center. Bend the knee. Flex the foot. Little lifts. Lift. Lift it. Good. Lift. Lift. Awesome. Donkey kicks. Donkey kicks. Lift it. Lift. Lift. Lift it. Nice. Keep it going. Keep breathing. Stay with me. I know it burns. I know it burns. Lift it. Lift. Shoulders are on fire at the same time. Perfect. Five more. Five. Good job. Four. Three. Two. Hold it here. Bring that knee behind the supporting leg and lift. Good. Behind and lift. And lift it. Behind and lift. Nice. Behind. Lift. Bring behind the, the supporting leg. Lift it. Behind and lift. You got this. And lift. Cross it and lift. Good. Cross it. Lift. Cross it and lift. Nice. Cross. Lift it. Perfect. Cross it and lift. Almost there. Almost there. Almost there. Last five. Lift. Four. Lift it. Three. Good. Two. Shit. And one. Drop that knee down. Turn to face whatever side of the mat. That same leg you were working. That is going to be the extended leg. So hand onto the mat, roll it over onto the outside of the shin. Same leg, same leg. So remember which leg you have. Arm comes up, leg comes up. My favorite, crunch it. Crunch, crunch, crunch it. Nice, good, crunch. Perfect. Normal work, back work, everything work. Shoulder work, crunch. Crunch it, nice, crunch, crunch it, crunch. Last 10, 10. Nine, eight, I know, right? Seven, breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the knee down, grab the weights, come back through the center. Are you ready? Round two, bicep curls. We're not going to do the full round of upper body, basically because I can't remember it. Bicep curls. Nice, lift it and lower. Try not to swing the weights. Keep that navel drawn in. Keep the upper body static. It is only the bicep that is working here, and of course the abs. Lift and lower. Good. Lift and lower. Last ten. Nine. Good. Eight. Breathe. There's six. Five. <coughs> and four. Here's three. And two. Here's one. Bring the weights up to the shoulders. Externally rotate. Lift and lower. Good. Lift and lower. So shoulder press, elbows in line with the shoulders, don't drop them down, lift and lower, suck the navel in, lift and lower, good, lift and lower, perfect, 10 more here, there's 9, and 8, 7, good, 6, 5, 4, coming into triceps, 3, there's 2, and 1, bring the weights up in front of the head, turn the palms, face each other, down and lift. Good. Down and lift. So again, focus on using the abdominals to keep you upright. Try not to lean back. Try not to swing. Awesome. Down and lift. Good. Down and lift. There's no more of that crazy shoulder stuff. Down and lift. Last 10. And 9. Here's 8. Good. 7. Nice. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. And one, bring the weights down to the hips, sit upright, hinge yourself forward, and row. So middle back, it's a little rhomboid row here. We are going to do rowing, but I'm not going to do that Jessica uh, shoulder stuff. Yeah, lift it, good. 
Three shoulder blades, three shoulder blades, 10, nine, eight, seven, good. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Take the weights down to the side, coming onto hands and knees. Pick up one weight. Remember the, the rows? Row it. Lift, lift, good. lift it, lift. Nagle in, back flat, elbow close to the waist. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, I know, right? Five, four, three, two, and one. Other side, quickly into the other side, lift. <laughs> lift it, nice, good, lift. So row it, row it, row. Elbow close to waist, row, and row. 10 more, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pop the weight down. Other leg, so you must, you've got to remember which leg you did, right? This is why I've turned around, lift the leg, hip height, point the toe, lift it, lift, lift. Nice, good. You get two rounds of upper body because we've got two legs. Lift it, and lift, lift, squeeze it, lift it, lift, that way, lift it, lift, nice, awesome. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going, last 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, and 3, 2, hold it here, bring that leg across, and a little semicircle, yep, go across, and a little semicircle, bring it across, and touch, across, and touch, nice, good, keep breathing, focus on putting that navel in, so you're working shoulders, you're working core, and we're working glutes. And tap. Come across and tap. Good. Across. Tap it. Across. Tap the floor. Last five. And four. Good. Three. Nice. Two. And one. Bring the leg back through the center. Bend the knee. Flex the foot. Are you ready? Push it up. Push it up. Push it up. So try not to lose focus of stability. Pushing into the hand. That is pushing into the hand of the moving leg. Yep, lift it, lift, lift it, good. Lift it, lift, lift it. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, two, hold it here, don't drop it down. Come across the leg knee and lift. Come across and lift, good. Across and lift, perfect, across. Lift it up, nice, and lift. Come across and lift, across, lift it up. Go across, kick it up, across, and lift. I know, I know that everything is on fire. It's all good, it's Thursday, and lift. Come across, lift it up, last five, and four, good. Here's three, I didn't forget, two, yep, and one. Drop that knee down, face the front, that same leg that was lifted is the extended leg here. Hand on the floor, rotate onto outside the edge of that bottom shin. Oh, lift the leg up, lift the arms up. Are we ready? Crunch it, good, crunch, crunch. <clears throat> good, nice, crunch. Little crunch, crunch. So shoulder, butt, obliques, abdominals. Crunch it, crunch. Oh, breathe through it, breathe through it, and breathe through it. Stay with me. Stay with me, stay with me. We're almost there, we're almost there. You've got 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop that leg down, just come back into tabletop position. Maybe just hinge forward, maybe hinge back into the child's pose. Just wiggling out through the hips. We're turning the this way down in the right position. Oh, and you know where I'm going with this, right? Hands on the floor, activate all 10 fingers. Shoulders are over the wrists. Shoulder issues, by all means, come down onto the forearms. Curl your toes, straighten right leg, straighten left leg. You know the plank is my new favorite exercise. I used to hate it. But having gotten used to it the last couple of months, I'm loving it, I'm loving it. Activate your shoulders, pull the navel in, Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the quads, push that energy through the balls of the feet. So shoulder girdle, 
pelvic girdle. Full on activation of every single muscle in the body right now. And as you probably know, my favorite in this heart neck, you can do it in the forearms, is just to rotate back and forth. So it's a tiny, tiny little movement, but it forces you to focus on the abdominals because you can feel them roll back and forth. Nice. Back and forth. Good. Don't let go of the navel. Don't let go of the glutes. Last 10. And nine. Good. Eight. Seven. Nice. Six. Yes, five. Perfect. Four. Three. Yes, two. And one. I'm not going to be mean today. Drop down to the knees. Oh, release out through the spine. Maybe take that child pose. When you're ready, come down onto your forearms. Back into plank, back into forearm plank. We're not going to hold it here for long. Oh, just readjust your position. Hold it for 10 seconds. Hold it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Don't drop down. Don't drop down. To hold it here. Make a fist with one hand. It doesn't matter which hand. Bring it to the inside of the opposite elbow and roll yourself over into a side plank. I'm sorry about this, but the next side plank, you're going to see my butt because I'm not going to turn around for this. Too quick of a transition here. Little hip lifts. Hip lift, 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 lift. Five, four, three, two, one. Rotate back over onto forearm plank. Hold it 10 seconds to get ready. Hold it 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. With the opposite hand, rotate on the other side. Hold that arm up, stabilize yourself, hold it here. Are you ready? Fits. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Rotate back into the forearm plank and hold. Hold it here. Hold. Oh, we're going to hold it for a minute. Are we good with that? Of course we are. Squeeze the glutes. Roll the shoulders back. Try not to arch through the back. Push back through the balls of the feet. Activate through the quads. Pull that navel in. Breathe through it. Breathe through it. Breathe through it. You've got 30 seconds left. That's it. Hold it here. Good. Nice. Hold. Hold. Oh, oh. I need motivation. Stay with me. Stay with me. Oh, we got this. Oh. Okay. Oh, hard work, hard work. 15 seconds left, that's it. 15 seconds left. Oh, mm, I'll count you down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh, God. Come on up, tabletop position. Just do a couple of cat cows here, especially if you suffer from some low back issue. And then gently push yourself back into that little child's pose. Oh, allow the spine to stretch out. Take a recovery. Once you're done, come on up. Drop down onto your butt. Oh, well done. That was a five minute plank series. Roll the shoulders back. Lower yourself down one vertebrae at a time. Oh, making sure your weights are close to you. Feet flat on the floor. Focus pulling the navel in, focus pushing the lower back into the floor and just crunch it up. Little crunch, little crunch. So it's a small little movement. Most importantly, to focus, pull belly button in, pull belly button in, chest is lifted, little crunch. If you want, take hands behind the head. It is up to you, but remember, hands behind the head, elbows must be wide, elbows must be wide. If you find this a little too much on the lower back, take your feet into that butterfly position. Ten more here. That's nine, eight, hit seven, six, that's five, and four. Here's three. I promise I'm one today. Two and one. Release yourself down. Grab all of the weights if you have them. Water bottles if you don't. Body bar up as well. Lift lower. Lift and lower. So. I notice my own back alignment here. I automatically want to lift my spine off the floor. I need to fight to keep my back onto the floor to use my abdominals. My abdominals are getting tired. 
And that's why you go into that arch position. So pull in, pull in. Focus on using the abs, chest as well. So chest and abs, good. Advanced people, maybe you lift up the legs, good. Last 10 here. There's nine and eight, good. Seven, perfect. Six, here's five, four, and three. Here's two and one. Option, hold the weights into a kind of 90, 90 degree with the arms, a little bit of a chest press, but elbows are not off the floor, and a little scissor down. Three and four. Lift two, three and four. Maybe raise the arms up one inch, down, four. Lift one, two, three, four. If it's too much with the weights, take them to the floor. If it's too much for the lower back, make a diamond with the hands, take it behind the lower back. Down and up, and lift two, three, Four. I love scissor two, three, four. Lift two, three, and four. Putting extra pressure on the chest muscle here, holding the weights up, ready? Two more here. Here's one, down, down, down. And lift, and lift here. Last two, down, 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 and lift it. Two, three, four, hold the legs up. Back into chest press, chest press. Good, again, not too much for you. You're always welcome to drop those feet down to the floor. Round two, we're only doing two rounds of everything which you may have noticed. Lift and lift it. Nice. Press it. And press. Press it up. Ten more. Ten. Good. And nine. Maybe lift the legs. Eight. Seven. Nice. Six. Five. Woo. Four. Three. Two. One. Come into that chest press position with the arms. Are you ready? Scissor, 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 scissor. Lift, lift, lift. And all right, lift down, 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 and down, and lift, 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 lift. My chest is on fire. Down, lift it, lift, lift, and lift. Be doing push ups any day, right? And lift, 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 lift. Last five, down, 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 and lift, 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 lift. Last four, down, 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 and lift, lift. Woo, three, mm, I can't count. Lift it, lift, 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 and two. Perfect, down, down, and lift, 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 lift. Last one, down, and down, and lift it, lift, lift, lift. Bring the weights for now. Shake out the arms, drop the feet down onto the floor. Heels come to the butt, lift up the butt, and little lifts, lift. So a little bit of a break for the abdominals, a little bit of break for the shoulders, oh. and just because it's the weekend, and I know I'm going paddle boarding, I know I'm going to have to use my shoulders, <laughs> abs, is just to round it all off, right? Lift, lift, so squeeze, squeeze butt, feel the hamstrings, squeeze the butt, feel the hamstrings, lift it, lift, lift, lift it, oh my god, I'm running out of time, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, two, hold it up, static hold at the top. Full range of motion. Down to the floor and lift. Good. Down and lift. Down and lift. So squeeze at the top. Down, squeeze at the top. Down, big squeeze. Down, big squeeze. Nice. Full range. Big squeeze at the top. Big squeeze. Ten more here. Nine, eight, good. Seven, awesome. Six, five, four, three, two, hold static at the top, hold static at the top, come up onto the balls of the feet, lift up the heels, lift the glutes up one more inch, static hold, static hold at the top, hold it, feel it burning, feel it burning, it's only a 30 second hold, that's it, lift it up, lift it up, a little higher, a little higher, activate through the calf, oh, hold it, hold it here. 15 more seconds, 15 more seconds. Don't drop the butt down. Squeeze it hard, squeeze it tight. Lift it, keep it lifted, keep it lifted. It should be burning, it should be burning. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and oh my God. Release the bum down. Just windshield wipe of the legs. Take a little bit of tension out of the hips, out of the glutes. Ooh, all right. <laughs> 
From here, I want you to pull the thighs in towards the chest. I want you to lift up the legs into a 90-90, and then rock yourself up. So you're in my favorite boat pose. Take the weight in one hand. You know where I'm going with this. Canoe arms for a Thursday. Elbow in line with the shoulder. Other arm out to the side to stabilize you. Lift it. You lift. Shoulder press, right? Single arm shoulder press. Single arm shoulder press. So if you feel that you have the abdominal control, maybe you straighten through the legs. Maybe you keep the knees bent. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever feels good for you. Maybe you challenge yourself. Maybe you challenge yourself. Maybe challenging here. Oh, God. I didn't tell you how long it was going to be, right? Woo! Hold it here. Keep going. Keep going. Ten more seconds here. Nine. Eight. Seven. Perfect. Six. Five. Legs straight. Four. Three. Two. And one. Take the weight to the other side. Come on up. Roll the shoulders back. Maybe we just take a very quick shoulder stretch of the arm you just worked. And release it. Weight in the other arm. Out of the 1990. Roll yourself back. Get those legs into that tabletop position. And out to the side to support you. Turn this way. Are you ready? Ah! Lift it. Lift. 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 Perfect. Lift it. Nice. Lift it. Lift. Maybe. Let's straighten the legs. If it's not for you today, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Lift it. Lift. Keep going. Put it the same amount of time on both sides. Lift it. Lift. Oh, lift it. Lift. Perfect. Lift. Maybe, maybe. Last 15 seconds. Straighten the legs. Lift. Lift. Lift it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Oh my God. Pop the weight down to the floor. Let's just take that shoulder stretch on the other side. Oh, oh. Take your nice deep breath in, ladies. And gents, release the arms. Inhale, arms come up. Give yourself a little back bend here. And just exhale. The feet are clean. Fold over the legs. If you need a little micro bend in the knee, by all means, take it. Ooh. And then come on up for me. Doesn't matter which leg, take one foot, take it across the opposite thigh, pull that leg in. Maybe if you need that spinal twist, you take a spinal twist here. I'm just gonna hold it here for today. Oh. My butt needs a bit more releasing than my spine does. Oh. Hold it and breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Good job, everybody. Thanks for hanging in there on those canoe arms. It was a toss-up between canoe arms or pillow held. Whew. And let's release out through that stretch. Little drum roll of the legs. Opposite foot comes across the thigh. Again, pull that leg in towards you. Try to stay away from the knee. Pull it nice and tight. And again, maybe if you need that spinal twist, you take that spinal twist here. Oh. Oh. Breathing through the stretch. Don't duck out of the stretching. Nice deep breath in and as you breathe out, I want you to release that leg down to the ground. Again, a little drum roll of the legs. Take one arm up, drop it behind you. Let's just do a little uh, tricep stretch here. We did quite a bit of tricep work and especially with the plank, you engage triceps as well. And release. Stretch out through the other side. Oh. Woo. And release. So my favorite stretch to end the class is to come into a straddle. Let's just pull that butt straight away from the mat. Maybe push the hips forward a little bit. Nice deep breath in and as you breathe out, I want you just to fall forward. So feel that stretch in the inner thigh. Feel that stretch in the inner edge of the hamstring. Maybe spine is long. If you need to curve the spine, it's okay. It's Thursday after all, right? Well done, ladies and gents.